Welcome everyone, I'm John Ryan for Gambling.com. This is a video clip for the Game 6 of the Major League Baseball World Series taking place at Minute Maid Park on Saturday night with first pitch scheduled at 8.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's not over yet, but I'll tell you what, the defense and the gloves that we saw last night in that ninth inning, especially Chaz McCormick running down that line drive bullet into the gap and crashing into the wall, that was something to behold and why we love Major League Baseball at this time of the year. Let's get right to the angle, though, because I think there's going to be a Game 7. Wheeler is pitching for the Phillies Saturday night, and I do think they're going to win this game. We're going to bet on dogs between plus 130 and plus 160. That dog is batting less than 200 over their last three games. The dogs' bullpen is terrific, and the Phillies have been terrific with out of the pen, averaging less than two runs per game over their last 10 games. And the dog is coming off two sh consecutive losses. So in the regular season and the playoffs, this has gone 69-73 for 49%. But by averaging a plus 145 wager, it has produced a big-time profitable 19% ROI over the last five seasons. Guys and gals, I'm going to roll the dice here and go to the window and take the Phillies now. I think that line could shrink a little bit. And if it does get below plus 130, then the game is still valid per my predictive models. And that's what matters the most. Anyway, I want you to remember this weekend to bet with your heads and not over it. And may all the wins be yours. Welcome everyone, I'm John Ryan for Gambling.com and we're looking at SEC action this week and there are two just tremendous monster matchups this week. Can't think of any weekend in a long time that had two of these marquee matchups all in the same conference. Alabama is going to be taking on Tennessee, I'm sorry, Alabama is taking on LSU and Tennessee is going to visit Athens, Georgia. I have a video already out on the timeline so go to gambling underscore com and follow them and ring the bell and you'll never miss one of these videos ever again. Let's get right to this one here at LSU. And this is going to be a night game at 7 o'clock and it's one of the biggest home field advantages. Second only to Penn State's whiteout, which is also at night. So this is going to be a rocket's crowd, to put it mildly. Bet on home teams in a conference matchup. That home team is coming off a 17-point or greater win. Both teams are excellent offenses, averaging 34 or more points per game. And the game is after game number six. That set of parameters has gone 108 and 71 against the number for 60% winning bets over the last 20 seasons. And believe me, folks, 60% is quite good. Now, if the total is between 50 and a half points and 57 points, which it currently is, 17 and 5 straight up would be the LSU Tigers 77%, 15 and 6 for 71% winning bets. Last 20 seasons supporting the big time underdog LSU Tigers. I have had double digit underdogs win games outright with my premium bets, and this is one of them. I wouldn't be surprised to see LSU win this game. But remember, bet with your heads, not over it, and may all the wins be yours. Welcome, everyone, to the SEC Situational Angle for Week 10. I'm looking at the marquee game in all of college football this Saturday. It's the Tennessee Volunteers taking to the road to take on the Georgia Bulldogs in Athens, Georgia. Set for a 3.30 kickoff with Georgia currently favored at 8. I wouldn't be surprised to see this line at 9.5 by game time. So if you like this betting system, then you might want to bet Georgia now. Sorry, Tennessee Volunteer fans. Nothing personal, but I think this bet is one to be made on Georgia. They're... Betting on home favorites between 3.5 and 9.5 and points. And the home team is coming off three consecutive wins over conference foes. And our road team, being the Volunteers, is coming off a nice double-digit win over a conference opponent. Look at the record. We have a record here of 51-26 and 26 with two pushes for 66% winning bets. Not too bad on the over-under there either. But if our total 
is 65 or more points. And folks, it's at 66, 66 and a half right now. And probably only going to go higher. 19 and 1 straight up, 95% winner. 16 and 3 against the number. Four, 84% winning bets with a 14 and 5 over under, 74% winning under overs. And folks, if you like teasers, which I really don't, but if you do, that's fine because I think this is a great opportunity to get on Georgia and the over and tease it back and tease that over down six points. But for me, I'm going to the window on Georgia minus the eight. And until tomorrow when I bring you another edition of the NCA Situational Angle of the Week, bet with your heads, not over it, and may all the wins be yours. Welcome, everyone. I'm John Ryan for Gambling.com. This is the NFL Week 9 Situational Angle of the Day. I'm glad you took a minute or two here to join me, and we're going to get right to it because this is a high-powered and highly profitable one that I want you to at least track going forward. If not, join me at the window this week. We're going to bet on favorites, including pick em games. Both teams are allowing between 23 and 27 half points per game on the season, and our favorite is coming off back-to-back -back games that were high scoring in which 50 or more points were scored in each one. As you can see on the record there, 77% winner straight up, especially you know, with lines between the threes, the money line becomes even more attractive in this situation. 56 and 29 against the number for 66% winning bets and 51 and 34 under for 60%. So I know a lot of you out there like these six point teasers. I'll stand aside on these, but for those that want to play them, here's something you might want to know. Six-point teaser with a favorite and the under has gone 60 and 26, and that's 70% winner. So maybe I will take some pizza money and do a teaser on this game with the Chargers and the under. So there you have it. My best bet for the week in week nine is taking the, the Los Angeles Chargers to defeat and cover the spread over the Atlanta Falcons. So have a great weekend, and always remember, bet with your heads, not over it, and may all the wins be yours.